CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart. Uh, this is a 2020 range from Bosna from Germany. This van here, I have, a, um, and I'm about to show, but I don't have it, but I'm about to show you. Lizio Time Limited 727G, it costs 65,120 euros. And, uh, right, so uh, we can see that it's a semi integrated van, it's a bed up front. Uh, over the uh, lounge, it's got at the back uh, what I call term the German layout. And one thing that Burstner is doing is a pointless bookshelf here because it's pointless because it can't take the weight of the book. Well, I imagine it can't take the weight of the books. I don't know. It looks like a thing that can't take the weight of the books. And I can't see what else really you can actually do with that up there. You've only got these two storage compartments at the very back. Uh, what have we got down here is you've got two um, wardrobes. There's one with the uh, thing you put in the middle here. Uh, and there's, there's the other side. I'm now going to close this off to show you the toilet. There you go, so there's the toilet. And there's the shower. There's nothing up here to divide them, but uh, so in the form of a curtain. But there is a door. There you go. So um, the doors. I'd rather have a curtain than a door because uh, doors tend to, as you move. That is um, one of the signs of a quality vehicle. Sorry, I mean, this is really expensive, and I'm sure it's, uh, you know, it's uh, I mean, it's far better than my vehicle, but uh, um, that, that's one thing you can hear. People ask me about quality what's a good vehicle and what isn't? Well, that's one of them. How much shaking is going on inside the vehicle? And if you've uh, you know, got any experience with motorhomes, uh, that you can certainly hear the difference between, uh, you know, taking that, take them out. Obviously, I appreciate when I take something out, they give me the fully loaded and uh, the best one they've got because then I make films and then other people then go and buy one, <coughs> which isn't fully loaded. I see the film, go and buy one. I get one which isn't fully loaded and which uh, squeaks a lot. <coughs> also, you know, as things get older, older they do, t do tend to squeak a lot. For example, me. Anyway, uh, I used to have gerbils, you know, so I don't know how to squeak. Right, so we've got uh, three burners there, so expect that. You've got here a sink. There you go. We've got uh, blah, 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 this thing here. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite deep. Oh, look how deep that is. You probably can't. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah, that's good. I bought um, a new. I bought a camera, a soft a software for this camera. Sorry, uh, or an app called Filmic Pro. I, can't, I just can't get the thing thing to work. And but but that should manage the white balance. Oh, there. You, that's unusual. We've got the cutlery there. Normally the cutlery goes here. Ah, that's where the cutlery can't go there because it's blocked because the sink's there. And there's the gas though instead. <coughs> This is limited, that's what it says up there. I mean, it looks quite good. Uh, you'd uh, half the table, you wouldn't have it out like that when you were uh, uh, traveling, so you, you get to the doors, ease, uh, sorry, the chairs easily, from the door to the chair, uh, driving chairs easily, if you don't use the, the, the front door, that is. The front doors, that is. Uh, but it's a great size table, that one. That, that does get uh, points as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I don't know if the bed goes up any further. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what I'm doing while well, I'm here. I'll show you this. Oh, right, right. You see that? Okay, I can move it up and down. If I, if I move it back down, let's hope I don't get caught doing this. Again. So, anyway, there you go. So it goes down like this. And that shows where the bed actually goes down to. So, this is how much room you've got inside. You can't really sit on the uh, the chairs with the uh, thing down because of the storage compartments. Now, ha ha ha, you might say, well, I don't want the storage compartments. I want to be able to sit up uh, with the bed down. Alternatively, you can sit, sit there, the, the people who would be in the bed. Why don't you go and uh, 
sit up, go to bed at the back and we'll sit up uh, playing cards up here. Right, so okay, pressing the button. Right, okay, and now make sure no one else does it. I've locked it. Did I show you the fridge? I can't remember now. There it is. Looks the same as any other fridge. Right. Um, good, I'll show you one or two more vans. That one there, 65,120, I think I said that. I think I said it was 741 two, times 232. Yeah, this one here, this Ixio here, is an integrated one. It's gonna cost a lot more money. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you a couple more. This thing here, 99,000 euros, 749 uh, centimeters in length. It's got a flat floor, it's got a bed up there. It's got two beds in the back. If you wanna see these in more detail, you'll have to see them in other films. I'm sure I've done it. Uh, I'll try and do it here again actually. Just want to, when I finish a film, I'd like to show you a couple more, sort of to put things in a bit of balance. That is the integrated 727G. This is the Lizio Time Integrated Limited 728G. You can see this in a more detail in another film. It hasn't got a flat floor. Actually, I don't really like this one at all, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it just looks cheap. It looks like, uh, it looks like something like sunlight does, um, rather than a, a burst. And I think the sunlight vans are much, much cheaper. Sunlight or Carrado or even Etrusco. You know, but all of them in the same com co company. It's all part of the Irwin Heimer group. But... Uh, all come at different price levels and uh, that one well I'm, uh, I'm not so keen that right so here we have the Ixio uh, Teal semi integrated 728G there's uh, another Harmony line one um, This thing here is the Lizio M Harmony Line 690G. It costs 60, no, sorry, it costs 85,160. It's seven meters long. Ooh, it's got a nice front to it, though. Ah, you see, it's on a Mercedes. That's why it costs so much money. This is home, it says up there. All right, to me, I. I Okay, it's on a Mercedes, that's why it costs so much more money. So I'll miss that bit out. But compare this one here, the one I just said, it just it just looks totally different, uh, in my opinion. Of course, it costs a lot more money, but that's largely, it's the, uh, it's the engine. It's the platform, I should say, not the engine. Lizio M. All right, travel van 620G. Uh, this is uh, slightly cheaper, but I think it looks better than the one before last. 65,000. This thing here is 660 centimeters in length. Two person van. It has a, a warm feeling to it. I'd rather have a six meter van though with a width-wise bed, that's for me. You might prefer that, you might want like this. Uh, toilet's very similar to the ones we've just seen. So, uh, right, so I think I'll just now have a, a short walk back to where I started off from. I uh, hope you found that of interest. If you did, please do uh, subscribe. Um, lots more vans on my site from various companies including uh, 
uh, not just personal but just by every company you see uh, around us here so thanks for watching and uh, you will see me in the next video if of course I bother to show myself in a mirror <laughs>